Welcome to Insight for Wellness this day. Today, like I've said, I'm developing, I'm developing a grated coconut, grated natural wholesome coconut to replace the skated coconut. So that from now, you'll be, you're no longer go and buy empty, desiccated, fibrous, desc empty, desiccated coconut, which you buy in the market, but you just get a wholesome coconut. Just get one wholesome coconut, work, uh, go through the process I have demonstrated to you, and then you can grate your own coconut. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, and please like my work and share my, my work. If you are pleased with this uh, video, please uh, share my work with us. Welcome this hour and this day to Insight for Wellness. I am very glad today that you are tuned in and I thank you I thank you greatly for following up on me. Thank you for I thank you all you subscribers. I'm so appreciative of you. I really don't take that for granted. Thank you very 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 much for subscribing to this channel and liking my work. I pray I, that you may uh, leave some comments there on also some other information that you may be interested in, you could also indicate it in the, in the comment section. Today, as you can see in front of me, uh, quite a number of coconut balls, you know? There are quite a number of coconut pieces. And uh, today I want to, uh, to try my hard at cracking, cracking the coconut and removing the flesh of the coconut. My intention is actually uh, to, to get myself a grated coconut, grated coconut, which I, could, I, I can preserve in my, in my freezer and so that it can be available to me when I want. In the past, I have used desiccated coconut from the market, but I have realized that desiccated coconut has really got, has, is of no nutrition. Desiccated coconut is of no nutritive value because it is actually fiber. Desiccated coconut that you get in the markets and the way it is expensive is just fibrous material of the coconut, coconut meat. And what you realize that uh, desiccated coconut is actually grated coconut uh, from which uh, a lot of milk has been but has been washed out and also cream has been developed from the desiccated coconut. So when you get the desiccated coconut, you'll find that when you may, even when you add it to your rice, when you add it, add it to your rice, you can hardly get the flavor of coconut. But when you can develop your own grated coconut from a natural wholesome coconut, you'll find that it has got all the oils in it and it has got all the flavors in it. And uh, even when you cook it with your food or can fry it with a, you can add to frying your food with it, uh, you find that it adds a lot of flavor, your, the, 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 the precious coconut flavor to your food. So today I have five pieces of coconut. All of them are not bought at the same time. It's only that I bought two before and I have delayed in cracking them. Then I bought two later. And then when I was down in downtown in the city Nairobi, I got one of the biggest coconuts that I have ever seen. I have never ever come across such giant coconut. I got a very, very, very big, big, big coconut, very big coconut. And you can hear the water is still, is still inside fresh, you know? It is still has its water, and it is still making noise that the water is, is fresh inside. One of the things that I have learned about coconut, that is not advisable to buy many coconut pieces at one time, because you can be very, very disappointed with coconut. Coconut is just like avocado. Coconut is just like avocado. You can buy a lot of avocados and then you'll be disappointed. Even today's mangoes, you can buy a lot of mangoes and you'll be very, very, very disappointed at the bitterness and you find that they are just rotting. 
because I realized that it's possible to buy a coconut even if when the water looks, it looks all fresh outside and, uh, and, and tainted. And then when you check, you find that the fermentation process has started. You may hear, fear, feel that it has a lot of water and the water might pour out. But then when you look at the fresh of the coconut inside, you find the coconut has started the fermentation process. The coconut is very, very soft. And even the outside of the coconut fresh, the, the other side, you find that it is brackish, brackish. It doesn't look very, very, very healthy. What I do every time when I go to buy a coconut, I must first of all check the outside of it. I want to check the outside of the coconut to see that it is very clean. It is very clean. It is not leaking. There is no molding. And around somewhere here in most coconut pieces, you find that there is a lot of leakage. And here you find a lot of bracken, which is actually fago, fago growth that is, that is starting. Then you might look at the, this part of the fiber, you find that is uh, looking very tainted. And at times you might feel like it, it, really it is wet. You find that it doesn't look like the rest of, of, the, of the body of the coconut. And uh, when it is like that, it means that either a coconut was leaking on it in the transportation process, or the coconut itself is leaking. The coconut itself is leaking. So I would advise you to ensure that you look for a coconut that is fully, fully, fully clean. Like this one, I'm very amazed at it. It's so big and it is so clean. It has got no leakage anywhere. And I trust that uh, it has not started the fermentation process, that I'll be able to benefit from this big, big, big coconut. That I may also be able to harvest a lot of grated uh, coconut which I can preserve in my freezer for quite a while. I have a coconut like this one. You can still steal. This coconut is a little bit darkened. It is a brownish a bit, but uh, this coconut is, has become so light. This coconut is feeling so light. It, the water, you can't feel the water anymore. I can't feel the water anymore. When I bought it, which is uh, a few weeks ago, the water was still ringing inside. I could feel the water inside. But right now, this coconut is silent. And I hope it has not started the fermentation process. I cannot see a lot of leakage on the outside. I cannot see any a lot of leakage. But inside there, down there, I can see there is a darkening there. Uh, there is also a... Uh, a, a, a molding, a, a, another ugly uh, 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 appearance here at the tip. I don't know whether most of the water has dried up and evaporated. I will just crack it open and find out if I can harvest anything from it. This is also another coconut among the old pieces that I had bought earlier. I had bought uh, this, this piece earlier but uh, I can still feel it has a lot of some water in it and it is actually a bit heavy. I can feel it is a bit heavy, so it might still be fresh, but I can't see a lot of uh, damage. I can't see a lot of, uh, of cracking. Maybe what I'll do is remove part of this fiber. You see, I have removed the part of that fiber. I've removed part of the fiber, but I cannot see any leakage. Those are just marks, the browning marks of the of, of of a natural or natural process, but I don't I do not see any element of leakage or staining on top of the coconut. So I'm perceiving that this coconut might be good, might be good. It may it may still be firm and I may be able to harvest some grated coconut from it. Um, this is also another coconut that is also, I can feel the water. You can hear the water is in it. Uh, it is still fresh. It is still looks fresh. Uh, it looks uh, clean on the surface, but let me remove this fiber. We see how it is behaving. You can look at, uh, at this coconut. You can see that there's some molding going on. And that fibrous material that have just uh, removed, pushed backwards. You can see there is a lot of molding, molding on this fibrous on this fibrous matter, which means there is some leakage. There has been a, some leakage with this coconut, and uh, also you can see on the surface, from particularly this spot, it means that there has been leakage. 
of, 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 of the fluid, uh, or maybe uh, most likely uh, this particular one is the one which is leaking. But uh, we will still crack it open, uh, hoping that we are going to, uh, hoping that uh, the coconut inside will still be fresh and firm, and the outside of the coconut, the coating of the coconut material, the nut material, the white flesh material, you may find that it has may start have may have started breaking down. And itself, you can feel there's a lot of water in it. So I would advise you when you go to buy your coconut and sure that it has water. It has water in it, and the coconut itself looks looks fresh. You know, somebody might tell you even when it is looking outside ugly and stained. So the, the vendor might still give you a good language and tell you that the coconut is okay. But uh, just have your correct uh, buying, buying tips so that even that it looks ugly on the outside, darkened and also very stained on the surface, like it is leaking. And when you shake like that, you find that little water is there or it has no water at all. I uh, just, just, just leave it. Just leave it. Don't. Uh, I have, I have burnt my hands many times with coconut. This is also a smaller coconut, also. That is, it looks small, also, but uh, it is still uh, looks unstained. It doesn't look like it is has any staining at all. But again, it has some water, small water inside. But I still crack it open to see whether it will give me, it will give me anything. So the cracking process is always a difficult process to open up a coconut, but one requires uh, maybe a steel rod. I was trying to check if there is a new method that has come up to can help us to crack the coconut. But all I saw is people still knocking the coconut heads with a with big rod or a big panga or a very heavy knife, uh, a butchery knife, very heavy, to just crack, crack the shell. And so today I'll try to I'll try to crack it with this head like this. This you can hear. This knife doesn't seem strong enough to crack this this net. Not not. This is a this is a potato knife. This is a potato knife. It is a kitchen knife, and it's not heavy. It doesn't have the weight that not like a butcher's knife, and. Uh, even when I crack, like, even when I knock it like that, I can feel it doesn't have enough power. It will not give me enough power. I might just uh, damage my knife. What I will do, I have a panga, which I usually use, and I will knock it on the, I will knock it with a panga and crack it, crack them with a panga. There, 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 there. I have chosen, selected one of those coconuts that we felt it was firm and it still has had some water inside. I have not touched the one which is molded. You have to do it at the end because molding can really contaminate your food. You must be very, very careful with molding because molding can contaminate your food and can contaminate your body. And the molding is very, mold is very difficult to cure. And so that coconut, I'll keep it aside. First of all, I'll crack all the ones that I saw they are okay. Even the one which is empty without water, I also put it towards the head so that I can first of all remove the clean ones. You can see how clean this coconut is. You can see how big the fresh is uh, inside. And uh, that is the water, the coconut water in that glass. That is the coconut water. The coconut water, which is very good, uh, one can drink or cook with it. But uh, I would advise somebody uh, to just cook with it so that you heat with it. And also be careful that the coconut is also quite clean. It is hard. The, the content inside is hard. The content inside, this fresh, the fresh of the coconut, this particular coconut is very, very, very firm. It's very, very firm. And it is very easy uh, to grate. So what I will do is uh, uh, create some, uh, what I did uh, with this one, I realized, like I said, I realized the knife was not strong enough. And so what I, I use my panga, which I always use is a big, big and heavy panga. I knocked at it around the equator. I, 
and I was knocking loud, knocking loud, knocking loud around the equator until it forms, formed a crack. When it formed a crack, I knocked again to spread the crack. And before I could use the water, I put the sharp end of the knife into that fissure, pushed it to the one side and the other so that it can drain the water, the, the coconut water in that. What I'll do now is that with this, with this uh, knife, it was just in the water. It was just, uh, that's why it is full of uh, droplets of water. I'll just put some fissures, uh, put uh, the knife through to the bottom, cut it through. Uh, create, put the knife down to the bottom and bring it uh, to the other end and also do it all along the inside or along the east side put the my knife through to the to the to the shell and again put the knife through to the shell and then after that i will just put another smaller farm knife and just push out push out push out push out uh I'll put it uh, the knife another knife so like i've said i just put uh, put the knife through to the to the to the to the to, to the shell inside and bring it through bring it through and create such such uh, cuttings all around all around and and then create such cuttings all around all around like that having pushed the knife directly to the sh directly to the shell to, uh, to facilitate the the loosening and then i'll put another firm strong knife here and then i'll just push the pieces outside push the pieces outside push the pieces outside that is the process that i'm going to use to remove uh, the the fresh of the coconut from here from the from the from the shell you can see how i'm doing it or oh, this, this this one has been loosened i've just cut it through this, the way, when you find your coconut looking like this, it means that it's very clean. The fermentation process has not started. So you can see where I'm putting the knife. I'm putting the knife between the shell and the fresh. So that when I push it, you see. When I push it. When I push it forward, when I push it forward, I'll be able to bring, to bring out, uh, you see like this one, I've already pushed ahead and you can see we have loosened uh, that coconut. That is the process I'm using of loosening out, loosening out the coconut, the coconut fresh from the shell, uh, from the hard shell, and then I'm going to use this process in, in all of them. I have removed all that fresh from that uh, piece, the smaller piece of the coconut. And you can see how I have been able to remove them. The inner part uh, did not come out uh, properly, so I cut it into four pieces together. And so it was possible to crack them out. And you can see the inside, the other side of the, of the meat it has not started the fermentation process. There are recipes that you can work with and you can still grate everything, uh, even the outside fiber, but uh, usually I like to peel it out. Uh, I like to peel it out and then wash it out. You see that within a very short time, I have removed all the fresh from the coconut uh, shell and these are all the pieces. These are all the pieces from this one uh, piece of coconut. And uh, you, I have told you that when you look at uh, find your coconut is clean like this on the other side, you know that fermentation has not taken place. When you find your coconut uh, fresh, hard, and able, uh, becomes crunchy like a carrot, you find you know that fermentation has not uh, taken place. But there are times when you can pour out the water and when you remove your fresh, you find that uh, there are times when you remove the water and when you find the other, other and then you remove your fresh, you find that this area is looking injured, it's looking soft and injured. 
it has brackish marks and it is a bit soft, you you know that that coconut has uh, started the fermentation process. So it will be possible to just peel out, peel out, peel, peel out all the softened, brackened part and then wash out your coconut. But when I when the coconut is like that, I would not advise a person or a child to eat that coconut raw. But it is good to use that coconut for the cooking process because they are, it is going to go at a, at a higher at a temperature. First of all, I'm going to work on this so that we can do the the grating process and also uh, harvest some coconut for preservation in the in the freezer. One thing I've noticed that uh, this coconut, once you uh, grate it, once you grate it, it ferments very, very, very quickly. If you grate it in the morning and leave it outside, you don't keep it in the fridge, most likely by evening you have started the fermentation process because the oils ferment very, very, very fast. So I'll just clean up the, fi the, the fibrous coating fibrous coating, wash it out, wash it out, wash all the pieces out, and then just start the process of grating. Like I've said, this is my coconut that we have removed from the coconut shell. I have peeled out uh, the skin on the other side. And in fact, I have a habit of peeling the skin because many times, many times I have found the other side skin in in a, in a soft state or damaged and with some black areas and some soft portions. So it just has become my habit uh, to use, uh, to peel out the skin. But if you feel according, if you feel that it's okay to use that skin, you can always grate it together with the fresh. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, rinse uh, this uh, coconut fresh. I'll just rinse it so that I can be able to grate. So here are my cleaned pieces of coconut. This is one coconut. I'm just going to grate it up. I've been using grated coconut a lot for making some cookies with the uh, sweet potatoes and pumpkins. And I found uh, that coconut has got a very beautiful, very good baking effect. Coconut fats and coconut oils are very rancid. That means they ferment very quickly. They ferment very easily. At room temperature, the grated coconut will just start the process of fermentation. And when once it is grated, it's important to put it in a sealed container. I have put it in this uh, sealed container. This one's a uh, container of uh, drinking chocolate. So I'll just put, put it in there. In fact, it is actually cold because, because it was in the freezer. I just uh, put my grated coconut there and preserve it in the freezer. So I'll just start the process of grating. This is my grater. It's just a normal kitchen equipment. A normal kitchen equipment. Uh, don't have powerful uh, blenders for grating. A normal kitchen equipment you still do. And then you'll see you have your own uh, grated coconut, wholesome grated coconut, so that you stop using. Today we today coconut has become very pricey. One all, all those uh, coconuts, even the small ones and the medium sized ones, they are all going at hundred shillings in the market. And you find that that big one I got it at one hundred and fifty. At least that was a good value. So coconut itself is a uh, it's a pricey product, but it is also good uh, for cooking. For cooking, it's good to use coconut in uh, in uh, in, in small in uh, controlled amounts because they say the fatty acids of the coconut are saturated. But it is still good to use the coconut and I get some of those saturated fatty acids from the coconut. And uh, so. We are going to, to grate it. We are going to grate it and then preserve it. And I've encouraged you with this demonstration, it is to help us to see that we can create our own grated coconut, which you preserve in your freezer, and you can use it every time. 
so that you, you may not necessarily have to spend a lot of money with the skated coconut, with a kilo or two kilos of the skated coconut, which you collect from the, from the market. Those desiccated coconuts have got nothing. They have got no oils remaining. Or it is just a fiber. It is just fiber and you realize that you have to use a lot of it for your rice or whatever, uh, whatever, mm, whatever baking uh, product that you are using, you may need to use a lot for it to have an effect. But it is good to invest in a little bit more money and get a wholesome coconut, which will also give you the correct and good sense of the coconut oil. So I'll just start the process and go ahead and grate my coconut. Welcome to In Search for Wellness this day. Today, like I've said, I'm developing, I'm developing a grated coconut, grated natural wholesome coconut to replace the skated coconut. So that from now, you'll be, you're no longer go and buy empty, desiccated, fibrous, des empty, desiccated coconut, which you buy in the market, but you just get a wholesome coconut. Just get one wholesome coconut, work, uh, go through the process I have demonstrated to you, and then you can grate your own coconut. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, and please like my work and share my, my work. If you are pleased with this uh, video, please uh, share my work with other people. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. I thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I can't take it for granted and I can't take you for granted. I'm most grateful. So this is my uh, grated coconut. Grated coconut from one uh, medium sized coconut, not very small, but not very big. You have seen a big coconut, how it looks like. But this is just, uh, you can call it a small or medium sized coconut. And uh, you can see that is my wholesome, wholesome uh, natural coconut, grated coconut, that is full of all its uh, uh, wholesome goodness and it has all its, its oils. In fact, even when you look at uh, the grating machine, the grating machine is just full of oil because usually it has a lot of oil. And when they sell you the desiccated coconut, then you have removed all the oil and every goodness to make the coconut oils, and some also to remove uh, the coconut milk and also make coconut cream. Uh, like I've said, this coconut, uh, put it in that container and take it right into the freezer so that it does not start the fermentation process. Another thing because that you, you, I would like you to know is that coconut, because of its high fat content, it has got a very high fat content. I will not advise you to cook your greens with coconut or your managus and tereres and the morendas and the, and the dania. All these natural greens, uh, vegetables, they are very, very, very alkaline. These vegetables are very, very alkaline. You realize that if you cook uh, some vegetables like uh, terere and, uh, and spinach and skumawiki uh, in an aluminum sufuria, the fruits from the uh, greens will eat the aluminum and the aluminum, will, the sufuria will become very clean because most of the aluminum you have been eaten by the greens and so Coconut added to such kind of green, you obviously react with the alkali and they form soap. What you find is that your greens are tasting like soap, you know, and then you may wonder where did this soap come from? You may make noise at your, the person who is helping you to cook because they are cooking food that is soapy. Did you add soap? Did you drop a piece of soap? But this fat in the coconut, you obviously go ahead and form form soap in your in, in your in, with, with your with your green vegetables so let me go ahead and just uh, put this uh, coconut in the con
if you have a, a lot of coconut, it is good to apply pressure in the packaging of the coconut in the container. I'll just bang it on the surface, bang it on the surface like that, so that the coconut can settle down. You can go further and it also creates more space for you because it is uh, still air. Yeah, so you can see with two, two medium-sized uh, coconut, you can fill up that container. I'll just cross it airtight, airtight, and then I keep it, I preserve it in the, my container. I've placed it in the freezer. You can see even this container is a container that I usually preserve coconut with. I have put my fresh coconuts there to preserve it so that it does not, it does not ferment. Thank you very much for, for pursuing me and uh, having time with me. And I ask you, please subscribe to my work and like my work and share it uh, with your friends and relatives. Please uh, leave a comment at the bottom there and uh, try uh, to work with the coconut the way I've, I've showed you. Thank you so much and goodbye.